Hey guys, I'm Derek Neal. I'm the executive producer at Modus Games on Chris Tales, and you're watching I Know Your Game. If you saw what was, what is, and what would be, if you knew how it ends, would you change it? Could you make the hard decisions? And would you be strong enough to fight? Yeah, absolutely. So Chris Tales is a traditional RPG set in the style of games like Final Fantasy IV, Final Fantasy VI, or Chrono Trigger. You wander around, complete quests, level up, buy equipment, all of those things. But it's also fundamentally a game about manipulating and experiencing time. So you can see past, present, and future on the screen all at the same time. You can see the rich history of the world around you, all of the characters as they evolve through time. And you can influence and change things in the past and in the present to affect the way the outcomes happen in the present and in the future. Yeah. So the art style has many different sources of inspiration. Uh, one of them is the actual whole land of Colombia. All of the colors that you see, all of the fabrics that are there, the architecture, the outfits that people wear, all of those things are taken from real places and things that are all around the area of Colombia. And I think a lot of people may not be familiar with this, but if you look up something, the beautiful wild areas of Colombia, things like the Caño Cristales, you know, this river of many colors with all of these algal blooms and these bright, vivid purples and greens and blues, you look at that and you'll say, oh, now I understand why this game looks the way it does. Of course, no game has just one inspiration. This game is also inspired by many other sources, including things like Disney. There's uh, been a lot of challenges with trying to make a game that utilizes time in the way that we do. One of them is making sure that the past, the present, and the future visually look distinct enough that it's clear what's going on when a player sees what's going on with these screens. We had a lot of problems with areas where you see a house and you see it in the past, and it just kind of looks like the same house, even if there are changes. So we went to great lengths to develop different color palettes, different style palettes for every area in every time zone. So every single asset has been remade three times in completely different styles, so that when you see them in the past, you see that it looks completely distinct, and it looks like something that's completely different from what's going on in the future. Uh, another issue is the timing-based mechanics that we have for the combat. In the combat, you have the ability to enhance your skills or dynamically defend enemies' attacks in ways that are also skill-based. So you can press the button with different timings in order to get bigger effects or protect yourself better from enemy attacks. The thing about this is that it means that people who are better at the game are going to have an easier experience fighting bosses and things. So we had to work really hard to try and make sure that the game was balanced so that people whose timing wasn't as good and weren't as good at the skill-based systems would have other ways to be able to get through that content. And so that's been a, a constant challenge for us. But you know, we've done things like leverage RPG mechanics, skills that characters have between them, the ability to level up and choose different paths, exploit weaknesses that enemies have, that savvy players can use to make up for differences in skills. So uh, there are several different endings that you can get. There are also branching paths. So certain content, certain outcomes will be locked off depending on what decisions you make. That said, there is one overarching story that you will follow from beginning to end, um, which does mean that you, know, you will experience that general story, but many different things will happen along the way, and many different results will happen to all of the people and in the final game, depending on the things that you do as you go through it. Oh man, uh, I would say the thing that I'm most proud of is managing to integrate time mechanics as deeply as they are into both the story and the combat. A lot of games talk about utilizing time, but what they mostly mean is that you know there's time travel that's involved in the story or something like that. 
In Chris Tales, both the main storytelling and the actual combat is very, very deeply ingrained with the time mechanics. So during combat, you're manipulating time. You're sending enemies to the for forward to the future or backwards to the past. You're changing around the turn order and messing with things, rewinding time to heal people. When you're around the town, you're actively solving problems by traveling between different times or sending your friend to travel between different times and solving issues that are happening in order to fix things in other time zones. And so it's really dynamic, it's really deeply integrated, and that's something that was very difficult to get right, but that I'm super proud that we pulled off. It's coming out next year, 2020, and it's gonna be for the PS4, the Xbox One, the Nintendo Switch, and PC on Steam. If you learn from the past and act in the present, you can rewrite the future.